Hello everyone, this is uh, LP with uh, Joe Master HN. We just got through honing the block uh, here and what we're trying is a, a different method. It's called the plateau honing. That's where you take a hone that's a uh, real uh, coarse. This hone is a 80 grit. Then you follow by a finer stone. This is a 280. And when I finished up with a 500 grit. As you look real close, it's hard to tell the difference, but there is a difference there. Now from the eight, the 80 grit to the 280, you see there's a big, big difference. Now to the 500 to the 280 is real close, but that is a 500 grit uh, stone right there. And the purpose of all this, from what I understand about in, his, in the book here, uh, about the, the plateau honing, or honing in multiple stages, as the name suggests is, an initial coarse honing stone is used first, then several finer grit stones in different stages following the flattening, flattening of the peaks in the finish. The results is a smooth surface with a deep valley that improves oil retention and in lubrication for the piston and the rings. Almost in all performance engines these days are plateau honing and machinists tend to be somewhat secretive about what grit stone they are used, which is varies from shop to shop. Okay, now, getting back, if you look in this cylinder, can it show real good on the scratches here? Yeah. Yeah, let me get... It's kind of hard to do this upside down. But anyway, this finish is a 500 grit finish. The smoothness... Yeah, you can see the reflection of the pencil off is on the roll. Yeah, it's like a mirror finish. But if you'll look right here, and in, inside here, you'll see several... Matter of fact, let me just start. Yeah, that, that's a good position right there now if you'll see right here there's scratches all the way down that's from that eight, uh, 80 grit right there then i've come back with the 280 you know hone it down then i finished it up with a that 500 which put a real slick finish on it and the reason why you want a uh, slick finish, well, see, this is this is the motor's going to be going into the S10 on the S10 build up, uh, S10 build, and it was just something that we run across, and it, I found it very interesting, and it's like, well, hey, let's try it, let's see what happens. Uh, anyway, we'll keep y'all up to date on it, see uh, how everything works on this. We still got a long way to go because we still got to deck the block. Need, actually, we need to assemble the motor, get a piston and valve clearance check, uh, check the deck height on the piston to the deck, deck the block if, if we can, uh, and hopefully not have to fly cut any pistons. Uh, but that, that's about all I can say right now at the moment. Uh, Yeah, there's another little section right here. Uh, uh, I, the ideal cylinder wall finish. Okay, I'm going to skip all this because this is, you know, some of the stuff. But this is where it gets to the plateau uh, uh, honing. Anyway, let me just start right here. You know, middle of the paragraph or at almost at the end of it. To combat this, the racing engines usually have a very deep plateau finish. To hold a lot of oil with, with as little surface area as possible for the rings to ride on. Once, once means piston. Once, okay. Um, it, once, once the piston speed. Yeah. Once means piston speed hits 45, 4,500 to 5,000 feet per second. The difference between the right and wrong hone. On a high-end engine is 25 to 30 horsepower. The power loss from having the wrong home isn't as noticeable on a street engine, 
but it does increase ring wear dramatically.